Eight signs your breakup is not permanent. Relationships don't come with a nifty handbook to help us navigate our way through the ins and outs of keeping things afloat with a romantic partner, which is why when many couples decide to split, they find themselves confused about whether the breakup is permanent or just a temporary break. In a perfect world, no relationship would end without that super critical breakup conversation taking place first. In that shiny, totally not real world, there would always be clarity about where either party stood, and many of us could avoid that awkward state of delusion in which we try to convince ourselves that the breakup is temporary. Since we are all flawed and breaking up is complicated, how do you know if this split isn't actually the end of your world, but instead just a hiccup in the road that is only temporarily throwing it off its axis? So, is a breakup always forever? Before we begin, subscribe to Modern Love Potion because every video you watch will transform you into a woman high value men can't resist. So click or tap the subscribe button now to not miss out. Hardly. In fact, it's quite common for relationships to go through rough patches and even breakups only to come back together stronger than ever. Here's how you know that your breakup is only temporary and you'll be back together soon. Number one, you broke up in the heat of an argument. We've all been in a situation where we insisted on having the last words, even if we didn't really mean what we said. Your partner heard, I hate you and never want to see you again. We're done. But what you really meant was, I'm really angry right now and incapable of having a rational combo. So here's something that would really hurt you as much as I am hurting right now. Oh yeah. I'll regret everything I said in the morning. If you and your SO broke up in the heat of the moment, it's likely that you will be able to rebound from the argument once both of you have cooled down and allowed yourself to communicate in a healthier manner that actually resolves the issue without sacrificing the entire relationship. Number two, you keep in touch during the breakup. You both know you called it quits, but you barely act like it. Between the constant texting, hanging out, and regular sex, it's apparent that the only thing that changed between you was you both agreed to break up, whatever that means. If you're struggling to embrace the breakup, which means limiting or completely ceasing contact, no sex, and, you know, moving on with your separate lives, then there's a chance that this breakup isn't permanent. Now, whether it should be or not is a totally different story, but that's not for us to decide. Number three, neither of you is interested in seeing someone else. Ending a relationship technically frees you up to date around, which is great, except it's not because none of your tender prospects hold a candle to your kind of sorta ex. In some cases, not wanting to date someone new can just be a sign that you're still not over your last relationship. But if you both honestly cannot bear the thought of being with another person, it may just mean that your breakup gave you the space to better appreciate what you have in one another. Number four, your issues can be resolved without a permanent split. Relationships tend to bring your inner petty to the surface, and so often we resort to drastic measures to address a simple fix. Like, is it really worth breaking up because your SO is the loudest snorer on the planet who refuses to hang the toilet paper facing down? While those minor nuances can definitely grate on your nerves, they can probably be resolved without ending the relationship. Believe it or not, being annoyed with your partner is great for a relationship. It allows space for you to exercise your conflict resolution skills. If you ditch your significant other because of their irritating habits, there may still be hope for the relationship with a bit of patience, understanding, and communication. Hey, are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Make sure you like and subscribe to Modern Love Potion because every video you watch will transform you into a woman high value men can't resist and you'll never miss our videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you have a story you want to share with me or other people watching this video in the Modern Love Potion community, write a comment below. Okay, so where were we? Number five, life is better when you're together. 
and not in the dreamy life is a rom-com type of way. This person legitimately adds excitement, positivity, and balance to your life by supporting you, encouraging you when you're down, and fully accepting you and your imperfections. Intuitively, you know you belong together in spite of this temporary relationship derailment. There are still doubts over whether temporary breakups actually work, but it's perfectly okay to take time to consider whether it means your relationship has seen its last days, or if you and your partner are gearing up to give your romance a second chance. Number 6. Your ex is sending mixed messages. If your ex has been giving you the hot and cold treatment since breaking up, that is actually often a strong indication that he or she is internally conflicted about the decision to break up and may soon give in to their feelings and decide to take you back. What do I mean by mixed messages? Well, for example, if your ex sends you a late night text saying, I miss you one day, and then the next day they completely ignore you or tell you they never want to talk to you again, that's a mixed message. Again, these type of back and forth signals that your ex is sending are almost always an indication that your ex is having second thoughts about the breakup. Number seven, your ex gets emotional. Think about it for a sec. If you had broken up with someone and you were totally confident it was the right decision, if you were truly over them and ready to move on without looking back, would you still be emotional when thinking about that person? Would you break into tears when you saw that person? Or tell him or her how much heartache the breaking is causing you? Probably not. For that reason, your ex becoming emotional around you after breaking up, or even just showing any kind of pain and loneliness in general, is a strong indicator of someone who hasn't moved on. They might be so emotionally affected by the breakup that they might break down and beg you to come back. Whatever happens, it's never easy dealing with a temporary breakup. You'll have to relearn trust and rebuild the connection so you can move forward together. Number 8. Your ex is still angry at you. This is a weird one, and a lot of people are skeptical when I tell them that an angry ex is often actually a good thing if you want to get back together. In my many years of experience as a breakup coach, however, it's become clear to me that this is often a very positive sign. If your ex is still angry at you, they're still emotionally invested in you and your time together. Now, of course, there are some exceptions to this rule. If you did something truly horrible to your ex, whether you cheated on them or said some really horrible things to your ex, then their anger probably isn't a good thing. But if there wasn't anything that bad that led to your breakup, and yet your ex continues to hang on to little arguments and disagreements long after the breakup, that's usually an indication that they're still thinking about you regularly and emotionally invested in you in your past relationship. If this describes your situation, then you have plenty of reason to be optimistic about your chances of getting back together. If you want to know how likely your chances are to get back with your ex, click our ex back quiz in the first description below. Also, if you want to see our best videos, click the videos on the screen now. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any of our videos, and I'll see you next week.